I'm going to demo how to make Mario move using flash motion tweens. Uh, first, I'm just going to uh, make a small adjustment here. I'm just going to, there, color that leg darker. <laughs> was bugging me. Okay, and I think, does, doesn't Mario have a bit of a pink nose? Okay, I'm happy with that. So once you have your character, what you want to do is um, select him. I'm just using the selection tool, that black arrow. Press F8. We're going to turn that into a graphic. And I'll just call it Mario. You'll notice there's now a blue box around him. This means he's a symbol, and you should see him in the library. Now, he's a bit too big. He's, uh, <clears throat> you know, if I was to hit Control Enter and see my video, he's way too big, right? So we have to shrink him down using the third tool called the Free Transform tool. Okay, so maybe like that. I'm going to just move him off, off stage here. Okay, now just for fun, I'm going to draw a Goomba. Oops. Okay, I, I can't really remember what a Goomba looks like off the top of my head. I think it's something like this. Okay, I think it's something like that. And I'm trying to find a good brown color. Okay, so I think that's uh, that's a pretty good Goomba. <clears throat> and we're going to have fun with this. Goomba, let's shrink him down. Okay. So I've got two layers. I got one for Mario, one for the Goomba. And I'm just going to create a bit of an animation. So you'll notice I only have one frame on my timeline right now. But if I right click him and say create motion tween, that's going to extend that out. And just so I have more room to play with, I'm just going to drag this out to about frame 80. Okay. The other way to do that is to just uh, right click on 80 and say insert frame. So you can do it either way. Now the Goomba, he's only on frame one, so I'll do the same thing with him. Right click, create motion tween, and just uh, with my mouse, click and drag. Okay. So now I'm going to make the Goomba. Um, he's going to start here. And maybe it'll take him 30 frames to walk to the center. Okay, something like that. Actually, that's a bit too fast. The Goombas are slow. So maybe it'll take them 50 frames to walk to the center. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's a bit better. And what I want to do is make Mario jump, and then jump on top of the Goomba, squish him, and then jump away. Okay, so at this point, I want Mario to be on top of the Goomba. Okay? Now in between that, I want to make him you know, do a couple other jumps. So we'll Make him go here, and we'll make him go here. And then in between these, in between my keyframes, I can actually get my selection tool, and I can bend that line. See that? Should make that one a bit smaller. So I end up with this. Okay, so it's like Mario's jumping, and when I hit the Goomba, I want the Goomba to actually squish. <clears throat> so I can use the free transform tool, and if I just, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little white, or a little uh, kind of circle in the middle of the Goomba, that's the rotation point. So if I drag that to the bottom of the Goomba, now I can actually squish him like this. Okay. Now, what I want to do, actually, <clears throat> what it, it's counting the, uh, the scale as a separate um, tween. So what I want to do is, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, maybe I'll just um, stretch him a little bit to add in a keyframe for the scale. And then if I do it here, there we go. 
Okay, then he squishes him. Okay, and Mario, I want him to follow through. So he's going to be, he's going to kind of fall down. <clears throat> Actually, hang on. When Mario jumps on things, he, he gets to jump off, right? It's been a while since I played a Mario game. Actually, why don't we make him jump off to, uh, jump off to safety? <laughs> Lionel Luigi. Okay, so essentially what we have is jump, jump, jump. Okay. So there we go. That's my motion tween. So as you can see, you can have fun with it. It's, uh, you know, I haven't even moved any arms or legs or anything, but just playing with the tweens, you can have a character jumping. And using the scale, we can animate uh, something like a Goomba being squashed. Okay. So all I did with this is essentially I set up a couple keyframes by moving him into position and then I used my selection tool to modify the, the curve of that line. Okay, 